Amid the sixth wave and rising cases of COVID-19 in York Region, both the York Catholic and public school boards have issued a letter to parents stating that after the long weekend, they'll be strongly recommending all students, staff and visitors to mask up. This letter sent to parents states both school boards are now strongly recommending mask wearing in schools when classes resume on Tuesday. The letter goes on to say this advice is aligned with statements made by Ontario's Chief Medical Officer of Health, which noted that while masks are no longer mandatory, they are now strongly recommended in indoor spaces. With levels in the community that high, particularly among, among children, of course, we're not testing, so much of that is anecdotal, but among teachers, students, healthcare workers as well, um, we really feel that it's, it's reasonable to strongly recommend as opposed to just encourage masking in the school setting. Until now, York Region Public Health has strongly strongly encourage masking in areas that are crowded, where there is close contact or where spaces may be confined with poor ventilation. The recommendation now, though not mandatory, is that a well-fitted three-layer mask be worn in classrooms, common areas, and while using school transportation. It is a strong recommendation. So, you know, for people who, and children, staff, others, who definitely don't want to do so, you know, that is their choice. What it seems like they're doing is trying to please the the people who don't want to wear masks or don't want to have their kids wearing masks at school and then try to please those of us who do want to have our kids um, and staff wearing masks in schools. And the reality is it's not really going to change much. Shamila Shaquille has children in the York District School Board. She says what she was hoping to hear today was that mask wearing would be made mandatory. It would have been such an easy easy way to help the situation so that our hospital ICUs are not filling up and so that our teaching staff are not short. Why not mandate masks altogether? The societal, the, the sort of um, the norms that were going on previously um, are just not there right now. So both from a legislative perspective, from a social perspective, and also from an enforcement perspective. I mean, if we do see a continued increase, particularly an increase that leads to increases in healthcare utilization in hospitals and ICU and, and death potentially, then you know that's the sort of thing we would consider issuing a stronger order. Both the public and Catholic board says they have noticed an increase in student and staff absences. The health unit says they hope by recommending mask wearing in schools that that will help slow the transmission of COVID-19 and help alleviate some of the staff shortages. Melissa Nakavali, City News.